Welcome back to the driveway. You can see me here. I'm in an old flower bed that I've let go to seed. There is some goji berry growing here. That's what I hope to take over. But I want to tell you about two plants that come up in farmer's fields and waste places like this. What people usually will go through and hoe up when they're setting their beds in, in, in the spring. This is wood sorrel. show you. Wood sorrel. Looks a little bit like a three-leaf clover and as a matter of fact this is probably what St. Patrick used to describe the Trinity rather than a clover but a clover got got the celebrity from it and we don't know for sure but probably. Now these have little pods, they have little leaves but even the root is edible. This whole plant is edible. And it has a lemony citrus taste. People will not only eat it raw, but they will get it, clean it up, and put it in fish as a stuffing. Or sprinkle the leaves on things as they cook them. Particularly fish. That's what I've heard it used for. And it imparts that lemony taste to the actual flesh of the fish. But again, you can eat it in salads. It's a... Uh, a beneficial plant, it, it helps with digestive problems. Most of the time, this is one I've not heard of people making a tea out of, but they put it in soups and salads. Now that's wood sorrel. There's another plant growing here that's sheep sorrel. Little bitty ones. They get these get pretty big. The wood sorrel gets in big bunches, big clumps, and this this grows up pretty big though. And here's the leaf of this, sheep sorrel. It's also an edible. It also has a lemony taste, not quite as citrusy as, as the wood sorrel. But this sheep sorrel is a diuretic. It helps increase urine flow. So people traditionally used it for urinary tract infections. Now not kidney infections. Both of these, these uh, sorrels are high in oxalic acid. So if you have kidney problems, stay away from it. Also, the oxalic acid can, can gather up certain, certain, uh, certain parts of the body, so if you, you have a rheumatoid arthritis, don't eat this. But it is a very common plant. Both these plants are very common. I doubt you'll ever find yourself in a place where wood sorrel or some type of sorrel is not growing, and you can eat it. And you can use it as a seasoning, as a stuffing, in a soup. So, you know, eat the weeds, right? This is a bed I used to grow food through the year. And right now, nature's growing some food for me after I've stopped using the bed. Kind of neat. As with all herbs, plant identification type videos, any of that, do the research for yourself. Don't just listen to some guy on the internet. That's a good way to get yourself poisoned. Always do your own research, but I hope I'm pointing you in the right direction. So get out there and forage. Learn to fend for yourself. Someday the government might not be there to save you. The more you know, the better you do. It's what we know that saves us, right? It really is. God bless.